The first prototype of the SJ100, serial number 97001, has achieved a significant milestone in its development with the successful completion of a critical flight that was specifically designed to assess its new automatic control system, ACS. The crew conducted a comprehensive assessment of the ACS across a wide spectrum of operational conditions during this particular flight, which lasted 4 hours and 10 minutes. The system's capabilities were rigorously tested in real-world scenarios by flying the aircraft at speeds spanning from the minimum allowable to 310 knots and Mach 0.81, and at altitudes of up to 12,200 meters, approximately 40,000 feet. The crew concentrated on the testing of the fundamental automation modes that are indispensable for modern passenger aircraft during the flight. These covered altitude climb, level flight, descent, turns to a predetermined course, and flight at a predetermined vertical speed. To guarantee that the ACS could meet the requirements of both routine and complex flight operations, each of these modes was assessed for precision, reliability, and responsiveness. The crew's favorable evaluation suggests that the system functioned as intended, thereby establishing a strong foundation for future certification activities. The ACS is a major technological advancement for the SJ-100 program. The system was created in partnership with prominent Russian aerospace institutions and is intended to offer auto-throttle management as well as automatic and director flight control. Its algorithms are comparable to those of other modern airliners, allowing for the implementation of features such as director control during launch and complete automation during all other flight phases. It is crucial to note that the ACS is capable of supporting automatic landings in CAT-3B conditions. This enables the aircraft to land safely in exceedingly low visibility situations, such as cloud ceilings below 50 feet and runway visual ranges as low as 50 meters. Additionally, the system oversees automatic alignment, touchdown, and directional control along the runway centerline, thereby increasing operational flexibility and safety. The ACS was subjected to rigorous ground-based testing using an electronic bird integration test platform prior to being installed on the aircraft. This enabled engineers and test pilots to verify the system's functionality and resolve any potential issues prior to conducting actual flight tests. The most recent flight signifies the transition from ground to in-aircraft testing, which is a critical step in the process of achieving full system certification. The flight also evaluated the ACS and tested updated software that enhances flight safety and expands the system's functionality as well as improvements to the aircraft's navigation equipment and personnel interface. This successful flight is a component of a more comprehensive and ambitious testing program for the SJ-100, which is designed to supplant imported systems with domestically produced alternatives as part of Russia's Import Substitution Initiative. By the end of 2025, the test program is anticipated to include approximately 200 flights, guaranteeing that the aircraft including the ACS, undergo a comprehensive evaluation prior to its entry into commercial service. The prototype is presently powered by Powerjet SAM146 engines. However, production models will be equipped with Aviadvigadil PD-8 engines manufactured in Russia, further emphasizing the transition to domestic components. Before the development and introduction of the new domestically produced ACS for the SJ-100, the Sukhoi Superjet 100 was equipped with an autopilot and flight control system that was mainly sourced from Western suppliers, most notably Thales and Liebherr Aerospace. The original SSJ-100 was the first aircraft in its category to incorporate an entirely electronic fly-by-wire FBW, control system. The Thales-designed avionics suite was integrated with advanced autopilot functions in this system, which provided modern automation features such as envelope protection, automatic deployment, retraction of high-lift devices, and numerous autopilot modes for each phase of flight. In an effort to either equal or enhance the standards established by Airbus's FBW systems, the flight control laws and autopilot logic were developed by the Sukhoi Civil Aircraft Company in partnership with Liebherr Aerospace. The autopilot in the earlier SSJ-100s enabled automated control during a routine flight, which included altitude hold, heading select, and basic approach modes. 
However, its capabilities were restricted to ICAO Category 3A approaches, not the more challenging Cat 3B category that the new Russian ACS now targets. The original system was also closely integrated with Western avionics and navigation components, which are currently being replaced in the Russified SJ-100 as a result of import substitution policies. Now, do you think the Superjet has the best FBW system in its class? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. In addition, please take our memberships.